Hey, what's up? I'm Henry. Welcome to The Wong Mindset. So I believe real estate is the best game in town. So let's talk about some of the reasons why. First off, I'm from San Francisco. Uh, I went the whole college route, studied engineering, came out, got a job, started a family, two kids. And one day I lost my damn mind and decided that that route was not gonna be enough. You're getting a 401k, you got some social security account on, maybe, maybe not and then maybe a little bit of savings and then maybe your own house that you own. That way was not gonna do it for me in the long run. I'm not gonna be able to live the life that I wanna live doing it that way. I mainly invest in long-term rental real estate that I plan to hold forever. And that gives me income, cash flow every single month. And that's something that I don't plan to sell ever unless I'm getting a better deal that makes me more money. So that's mainly what I'm gonna be talking about today. So the first reason why I invest in real estate is because of all of the tax benefits. You can write off pretty much everything. You have your uh, mortgage interest, you have your depreciation, you have your property taxes, any maintenance and repairs, those are all write-offs against your income that you get on the property. Another tax benefit is if you lived in a house as your primary residence for two of the last five years. And when you go to sell that house, you can take all of the gains up to $500,000 and pay no taxes on it uh, as a couple. So tell me what else can give you an investment that large tax-free. There's also something called a 1031 exchange. So you can sell your property and if there's a good amount of gains on it, you don't have to pay taxes on it if you go and buy another house within 45 days and that's worth more and you use it against that house. Then you don't have to pay any taxes on those gains. You can also do what is called a cash out refinance and whatever equity you have in the house, you can cash out up to a certain point and get a new loan for that and get a chunk of money tax free. So with real estate, you can also leverage. You can basically take 20% of a property, put that down and lock that property down on a 30 year fixed rate mortgage. The next thing is people are always gonna need a place to live. So depending on your market, someone's always gonna need a rental, right? So this is really something that you can count on long term that even your grandkids can count on. So there's also appreciation. So depending on your market, I'm in a place like San Francisco. So I, you know, historically someplace like here, there's always going to be a good amount of appreciation. So with rental real estate, you can really count on long-term stable income month to month that you get. And if there's any turnover, there's ways that you can go around it where you don't lose a lot of time. Right. And even if you do have vacancies that should be factored into your cash flow. So with real estate investing, it's not all gravy, right? There's things that it's not for everybody, right? Not everybody can do it. It's, it's tough. So one of the things is it's a really high barrier to entry, right? To get into real estate, you're going to need a chunk of dough to, to get started. So that's, that's hard for a lot of people, right? How do you get to that point? But I have ideas, you know, how to save, how to grow your money and get to that point and how to look at a lot of things. The other thing is it's a lot of work up front. Right. When you first buy a rental property, you're going to have to do a lot of work with um, coming on down payment, looking for properties, knowing what makes sense. Right. What makes money? And then, you know, getting that place um, closed on and getting tenants in there, getting it renovated, whatever you need to do. There's a lot of work that goes with it up front. So it's not easy and that's not for everybody. Hey, you also have to deal with a lot of people. Right. You're going to have to talk to tenants. You have to deal with them on the daily. You have to talk to contractors, agents. You're going to have to like talk to a whole bunch of potential tenants when you're first screening. So this is not for everybody. Right. So if you're OK with talking to people, dealing with situations, then this might be for you. So a couple tips I wanted to talk about. The first one is coming up with that down payment. So it seems really intimidating. It seems like it's impossible. There's no way. How are you going to come up with a down payment? That's crazy. So my tip is that you should really look in your area, find out what properties really are going to cost, right? And see if they 
makes sense, right? Maybe go outside of your area a little bit and see what it's gonna take to buy a house. Look at that down payment and then break it out into a couple years. Give yourself some time, maybe three to five years and look at what it's gonna cost you every month to come up with that down payment. What is it gonna look like every week, right? So once you have it broken down to that level, you'll be surprised that it's actually doable. So then the other way to look at it is if you can get a house every three to five years and then in 20 years and 30 years, you know how many houses you would have? The other thing is if you can ask around, right? Anybody you know, family, that can help you out whatever they can come up with. I know a lot of people feel some kind of way, right? They don't, oh, don't never borrow money from anybody. If my parents are willing to give me any money, I'm taking it, right? This is for my future. This is to set me up. Don't, I'm not too proud. I'm not too worried about like, oh, I have to deal with them, I have to hear, I don't care. As long as you can get a place, you lock it in, you're making money every month and that you can pay them back, I don't give a crap, why? Um, so I know, you know, it's easy to say I'm very blessed. I was helped out, right? Like I've been helped out throughout my life. So I appreciate that. I'm very, I understand that I'm very lucky, right? I'm lucky, one of the lucky few, but I got a bunch of help. Every, every chance I got, I got help and I took it. I don't care. Also, it's always going to be that first house. That's the hardest to get. But once you're able to get it and get it running, it's always a lot easier to get the next place, right? Because then hopefully you have equity, you can use uh, equity line, you can use a cash out refinance, um, and then you're hopefully getting more income, right? You should have cash flow. So with more income, then you save a lot faster. So really the hardest part is just getting past that first one. After that, you'd be surprised. You, that three to five years, you're gonna shorten that a lot. So hopefully you got some good information out of this video and now you see why I think Rental real estate is the best game in town. And maybe you might do some of this stuff for yourself. All right, please leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know if you think real estate is the best game in town. All right, thanks for watching and I'll chat with you in the next one.